Today I'm going to show you how to transcode .move files from a Canon T2i into a format that's easily editable in Sony Vegas. You're going to need a program called MPEG Stream Clip and you're going to need the Avid DNX HD codec. First thing you do is find MPEG Stream Clip online by typing it into Google, clicking search, clicking on the first result. I would download the Windows version since I have Windows and then I would download it and install it. You're also going to need the Avid DNX HD codec. Uh, an easy way to find it is by typing in Avid 263545 into Google, click search. The first result is going to be where this codec is hiding. Since I have a PC, I'm going to download the PC version and I'm going to install it on my computer. Once you have those two things on your computer and installed, you're ready to go. So you need to open up MPEG Stream Clip. It looks like this. I'm going to batch transcode some files, so a whole bunch at once. So I, I, I'm going to choose List, Batch List, and I'm going to Add Files. Then I'm going to uh, choose my files. I'm going to start here. I'm going to hold down Control. Uh, shift and click here and that will select all the moves I want at once and I click open and I in the drop down menu here I choose export to QuickTime then OK then I'm going to need to choose a place to save my files I'm going to choose my desktop and then I'm going to click OK now here's where you need to pay attention in this drop down menu here you choose Avid DNX HD codec. You make sure your quality slider is all the way to 100%. Then under options you click this little box that's halfway hiding. I'm not sure why Avid produced such buggy software but they did. Click it. Uh, choose the option that matches your source file. For me that would be 10, uh, 1080p uh, 23.976 I'm going to pick the 10 bit option, which is the highest quality. Then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to make sure that interlaced scaling is deselected. And I'm going to make sure 1920 by 1080 unscaled is chosen, because that matches my source file. Everything else I'm going to leave as is. And then I click to batch. All the files that I want to transcode appear here. And all I need to do now is click go and MPEG Stream Clip will start transcoding each of these files and placing them on my desktop. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, the reason we need to do this in the first place is because .move files typically don't play well with most nonlinear video editing programs like Sony Vegas. So you need to have a, a file that Sony Vegas likes. Uh, a file that won't crash Sony Vegas no matter how long it is and a file that uh, works well in the timeline. Uh, some people have told me that uh, the timeline performance even with this method is not good in Sony Vegas but uh, it's been good for me. It works well for me. I can edit frame by frame and see it in the timeline so I'm happy with it. Also Vegas never crashes which is good uh, with the original .move files. It crashes when I try to uh, render anything or edit anything longer than about three minutes. Um, also keep in mind that the files that you produce using this method are going to be about four times bigger than your original file at least using the settings that I'm using here. Um, it's not a big deal unless you don't have a big hard drive then it could be a big deal for you. Uh, but I mean in the end we delete these intermediate files anyway. They're just we're using them so that we can edit these files so that we can edit in Vegas. Uh, these files are visually lossless. That's the beauty of the DNX HD codec. It's a mastering codec, which means that even with uh, multiple renderings, you're not going to be losing quality. So um, give this method a try. If it works for you, great. And if not, well, uh, contact me and I'll help you if I can.